Hi, my name is Etienne La Liberté, and I'm a lecturer in plant ecology at UWA. And if you enroll in a major botany, I'll be one of the many people that you'll meet. Botany is a really exciting and important discipline, and skilled botanists are in really high demand in the job market. But above all, plants are really amazing to study. They're at the base of all food webs, they strongly regulate carbon, water, and nutrient cycles, and they also represent a major fraction of the Earth's biodiversity. Southwestern Australia in particular is incredibly diverse with around 8,000 plant species. Most of these are found nowhere else on Earth. But this unique flora is threatened by many factors such as changes in land uses, introduced pathogens, weeds, and climate change. Botanists have a key role in resolving these issues and UWA is strongly committed to addressing them through teaching and also through research. By studying for a major in botany, you'll develop an understanding of the diversity of plant life, the complex factors that shape natural ecosystems, and the way that plants interact with other organisms such as animal or fungi. The study of botany includes a range of disciplines such as ecology, physiology, taxonomy, and also genetics. As part of a botany major, you'll have the chance to visit some awesome places in southwestern Australia and western Australia in general. For example, you'll be able to go on a week-long field trip to the Pilbara in the northwest where you'll learn about the unique vegetation of this economically important region. This field trip is extremely popular with students and it has limited places, but a good thing is that as a botany major student, you'd have priority. You'll also get the chance to visit the amazing heathlands of Mont Lesueur, a couple hours north of Perth. These heathlands have incredibly nutrient-poor soils, but surprisingly, they're also some of the most species-rich plant communities on Earth. In this field course, you'll learn about the many different strategies that these plants use to acquire nutrients in exceptionally infertile soils. During your botany major, you also have opportunities to interact with staff from a range of organizations such as Kings Park, the Department of Environment and Conservation, the CSRO, as well as botanists and ecologists from mining companies and environmental consultancy firms. There are two options when you choose to enroll in a botany major. The first one, you can enroll in the botany major as a degree-specific major in the Bachelor of Science or the Bachelor of Philosophy with honors. The second option is that you can also do it as a second major in the Bachelors of Arts, Commerce, Design, Science and Philosophy with honors. This gives you a great chance to explore other areas that interest you. Botany is a really good fit with many other major, and some that we especially recommend are conservation biology, if you're interested in biodiversity management, agricultural science, if you're interested in cropping systems, zoology, if you're interested in animals as well as plants, natural resource management, if you're interested in land use issues, and environmental science, if you're interested in water or soils. You could also take geology if you're interested in working in the mining industry. And there are also many other options to suit your particular interests. Graduates in botany from UWA have a very high rate of employment and they find work in a large range of jobs. These include environmental consultancy, the mining sector, particularly as field botanists, natural resource management, and jobs in many areas of the state and federal public services, such as the Department of Environment and environment and conservation and the department of water. So let's talk about the units that you'd take in the botany major. At level one, you have two core units, core concepts in biology and plant and animal biology. Now I'll leave it up to assistant professor Nikki Mitchell, who will tell you more about these units. Hi, my name is Nikki Mitchell and I'm the coordinator of first year biology at UWA. I organize our two first year units and present some of the lectures. Core Concepts in Biology is the first semester unit. In this unit, concepts such as biodiversity and evolution, biological structure, and the central role of DNA as genetic material will be introduced, while at the same time focusing on some hot topics in contemporary biology. The themes of this unit could include understanding how species are responding to climate change, examining how plants develop resistance to herbicides, and marvelling at the methods used by males to secure paternity. You also work in a group to write a short scientific article that could be published online. Plant and Animal Biology is the second semester unit. In this unit, you will learn about the diversity of life with a focus on plants, animals and fungi. You will learn how species interact with each other and their environment, 
how plants and animals function and exploit a wide range of environmental conditions, including the ocean. You will develop an understanding of how plants, animals and microorganisms assimilate energy and respond to environmental stress. We examine life history strategies and adaptations to specialised environments. We also emphasise the need to understand the processes that can lead to the decline of species in biological communities, a discipline known as conservation biology. And we draw examples from the remarkable biodiversity of Western Australia that has evolved in isolation on a very ancient continent. There are also two complementary units at level one, science, society and communication, and science, society and data analysis. These two units give you an introduction to current topics in the natural and agricultural sciences, and they also give you general communication and research skills. At level two, you'll do three core units, ecology, plant physiology, and plant diversity and conservation. In ecology, you'll learn about the factors that influence the distribution and the abundance of plants and animals in the landscape, and also about the cycling of matter and energy within ecosystems. This unit will teach you the basic ecological principles that are needed to assess future land management and conservation priorities. In Plants in Action, you'll learn about plant physiology through examples from natural and agricultural systems. The material presented in this unit will be crucial for understanding how plants function in different environments. In plant diversity and conservation, you'll learn about taxonomy, which is how plants are classified into families, genera and species. You'll learn how to identify native plant species, which is a really essential skill for anyone who's interested in doing field botany. There's also one complementary unit at level two, principles of inheritance. In this unit, you dip into the field of molecular genetics, learning about DNA and inheritance of traits. This is really crucial information if you're interested in taxonomy as well as conservation genetics. In your third year, there are also three core units, ecological processes, plant physiological ecology, and Australian vegetation. These units are strongly focused on understanding the distribution and the functioning of natural plant communities. And they build on the essential skills and knowledge that you gain at level one and at level two. In ecological processes, you'll learn about the impacts of environmental changes, such as climate change and species invasions on the functioning of ecosystems. This will allow you to design scientific research to evaluate the interacting causes of environmental change. Plant physiological ecology builds on the level two unit plants in action, but will focus on plant adaptations to different environmental conditions in Australian terrestrial, but also aquatic ecosystems. This unit will provide you the broad foundation in plant physiology to understand plant distribution patterns in the field. Australian vegetation will teach you about plant communities and the different vegetation types found throughout Australia. It also teach you how these vegetation types relate to climate, soils, landform and disturbance such as fire. You'll conduct vegetation surveys in the field and will learn how to analyze and interpret vegetation data. Now these skills are in high demand in the environmental consultancy business as well as industry and government. At level three, there's also one complementary unit. Soil plant interactions will teach you about how plants acquire soil nutrients and about the role of soil organisms in nutrient cycling. There will be a particular focus on soil management to maintain sustainable agricultural, horticultural and forest production systems, but also to restore natural disturbed ecosystems. Throughout the botany major, you'll cover embedded skills in data analysis and communication, which are highly regarded by employers. Overall, you can expect four to five contact hours for each unit each week. This is a combination of lectures, labs, and tutorials. We also expect you to undertake four to five hours of independent study for each unit each week. Many employers prefer students that have completed at least a fourth year study. Once you've completed your three year undergraduate degree, there are a number of options for further study in botany. First, you can enroll in a two-year master's by coursework for years four and five, which allows you to specialize in an area that's of particular interest to you. You can also do a one-year honors degree in year four with the option of a fifth master years, either by research or by coursework. In both of these options, you have the chance to complete an independent research project in botany. 
Students often tell me that the research project was the most rewarding part of their degree because it gave them the chance to apply all the information and all the skills from the preceding years of their degree in an area that was of interest to them. Many research projects end up getting published in scientific journals. The research project also gives you a chance to work with partners outside UWA, such as Kings Park, the Department of Environment and Conservation, or CSIRO. Often, projects are also done in collaboration with mining companies or other industries. There are a large number of competitive external scholarships that are available for students doing research in botany. Students that are very keen on research can also choose to apply for a PhD either following the fourth year honors or following the fifth year research masters. Students who do a PhD may move into teaching or academia or research roles in the government. Graduates of all UWA postgraduate programs are highly employable. If you have a keen interest in plants, then a botany major at UWA is certainly a great choice for your university studies. If you decide to go down that path, then on behalf of all of my colleagues, we really look forward to meet and to interact with you in coming years.